Hi guys, Ash47 here and welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Defense Task Force, which was just released on Steam, literally just moments ago. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first mission here. We're going to jump into Zero Cost and jump in there. This is the very first mission, guys. What we're going to do is try and defend this island tower thing here. You're going to see we're on, almost looks like an oil rig to me. Go ahead and skip here. Here we go. So this is the game. Now, the way this game actually works, you need to go ahead and start by building some of these platforms here. So here's a normal basement. You can build one of these. Once you've built this, you can then go and place guns on it. So we're going to start by placing your typical machine gun onto these. Now, as soon as we start building, the enemies are going to start coming up. So we'll just start with the typical machine guns, and then we'll go from there. Now, you can see how these guys actually, they're going to run up straight up here, along here, and around here. So our highest priority, like the best thing we possibly do is build all the way along here. The reason being, that means the guns will be able to shoot them as they walk along and as they walk back the other way. So we're going to get a lot more bang for our buck here, basically. Now the other important thing is to place down different guns. At this stage, I'm not really sure what the best guns are, but we're going to try and place some like different variety here so we can figure it out together exactly what's best. We're going to get a bunch of these machine guns going because these machine guns are incredibly cheap. And you can actually upgrade this stuff later. So you can see here there's an upgrade button. Now, I don't really know how to upgrade yet. Maybe it costs money or something. It says upgrade must first be researched in the research menu. So once we figure out where the research menu is, we'll go ahead and try and upgrade these. Alright, so you can see everything's starting to come in here. Awesome. Now you can see at the very top here, this is the first wave. So, oh no, we're already on wave 3. Wow, that went really quickly. So wave 3, next wave starts in 10 seconds. So you can see up there, 18 and 32 of those. Awesome. Let's go ahead and keep building, guys, if we can. Uh, we've got a couple more slots up here, as you can see. We need to earn some more money here. Alright, we can place one more typical machine gun. Then we should probably save some of our money. For something a bit more expensive. Now, unfortunately, let's have a look here. We've got a camera button here. So that seems to be some kind of, I don't know, weird camera thing to look around the map. I don't know the point of that. It's kind of weird. We've got a button that doesn't seem to really do anything. We've got a help icon. Again, it doesn't seem to do anything. Help. What does it say? I'll hover over this for just a second. Is it going to tell me? Not available in this alpha version. Okay, so if you need help, not available. Sorry. Quest log, not available. And we got menu. Okay, so there's no research thing there. I think the researching has to happen outside of the actual game, as in, in the main menu. There was a research menu in there. So in other words, I'm basically not going to be able to upgrade any of my turrets here, which is kind of annoying. And I think I should also be building over here. If any of them actually get through, then they're going to get smashed by these guns, which is kind of important. Now, unfortunately, no, I can't upgrade this. I'm not sure if I should be targeting like the front ones or the strong ones or not. You can see there's a target priority here. We've got first. So I'll keep all these on first. It's probably pretty important to target the first ones. Basically, that means the ones that are leading. Now, the other things we've got here, let's have a look. We've got a cannon. Hold shift to keep placing. We've got a proton pulse. I think if we click on them, it tells us what they do. So the cannon tower is the big brother of the machine gun tower. Its shells do heavy damage to alien kraken units that might stumble into the range. However, it does much lower raw and then it just gets cut off. That's annoying. We've got the proton pulse. It's a result of an experiment going wrong or maybe right. The proton pulse tower is an experimental practical beam. Sorry, particle beam weapon, which fires a stream of supercharged protons. It doesn't really say what it does. Alright, we need some sort of area of effect, basically. And is there any stunning stuff? Okay. Chain steps, stun chance, 0%. 0 percent stun chance? Why even have that on there? It's kind of weird. Um, area, angle attack, 25%. Fire tower, here we go. That sounds pretty cool. So what we might do, if we go ahead and sell this one, we're going to go ahead and stick a fire tower. If I can afford it, can I place it? There we go. So that's a fire tower coming in there. That's going to basically do area of effect, I believe, if I'm not wrong. There we go. So that's going to hopefully light them all on fire as they go past. I feel like maybe it'd be better to put it over here. So if we sell, is this a, yeah, it's a standard machine gun? We're going to put a fire tower here. So that's going to do a full circle as they go around. Hopefully that'll take them all out. Very nice. Catch them all on fire. Yes. Now, we want a cannon. What else is there? There's a proton pulse. Rotation speed 90. That's, that's interesting. The damage is 2.3. Damage is 1 per second. I've got more I can build over here as well. I will, in fact, build some more over here eventually. So we'll decide exactly what to build, given I can't actually upgrade anything. So 0.6 per second, 2.1 per second, 2.3, or 7.7. .7. That sounds like it's a big, beefy gun. Alright, that's obviously the most powerful gun right there. So we will do that one, because it's dealing the most damage. Range 40 meters. I feel like we should just upgrade everything to be those cannons. Because why not? 
And we're building the more platforms here. Oops, careful, careful. Platforms, platforms, platforms. So we're currently on wave 11. Waves just keep coming, coming, coming. They're coming really fast. So if I upgrade everything to be cannon, I'm guessing that's going to make me pretty strong. You can see my money up here, 120. Greatly increasing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this quite a fair bit so I can get some more money. Once I get the money, there we go. Slow back down and we're going to place a cannon. Boom. That should make us a little bit stronger. Let's go ahead. We're going to put that on max speed now. In this stage, I might as well just keep it on there. There we go, I can afford another cannon. So we're going to get rid of this machine gun. Go ahead and sell that. And place out a cannon there. Awesome. And, okay, sweet. Now, can I actually build up on top of these is my question. No. That's kind of annoying. Is there anywhere else I can build? Anything else I can do? See, I don't know if I'm supposed to be pushing back or what I'm supposed to be doing here, guys. Alright, that's cool. Is this just a typical machine gun? No, it's a cannon. Okay, cool. We're going to put another cannon here. So if anything does get past, it's going to get really, really screwed. Alright, let's fast forward, guys. We're going to keep building more cannons. Keep building, keep building, keep building. So machine gun there. Okay, we can afford to sell this machine gun, actually. I think I'm better off putting a cannon like that. There we go. I'll fill up this section with machine gun, oh, sorry, with cannons. And then we'll go ahead and sell everything else off. We'll just have all cannons, I think, if possible. Oh man, so these got through. There's no way for me to upgrade anything at this stage. Seems kind of silly. Okay, I can afford some more cannons here. So I will go ahead and place those out. Boom, there's my cannon. And we're going to sell this bad boy. And let's put a plasma beam. Let's see what a plasma beam does. How about that? I wonder which one's the most expensive. See, 300, 350, 275. So 300 is the most, oh, 350 is the most expensive. Which does 2.3 damage per second. Chain steps two, chain step max. Oh, so this can actually chain. That sounds kind of interesting. Let's give that a shot, actually, guys. So we've got a typical machine gun here. We'll upgrade to this this thing here. Let's see what this does. Here it goes. So this is meant to chain. Boom. Well, that's actually cool. Doesn't really say how fast it attacks, though. Three shots per... Se oh, okay. Rate of attack. Three shots per second. Four, four seconds per shot. Continuous. Damage one per second. I don't know if that damage is, like, taking into account... So, four seconds per shot. Damage is... Okay, three seconds per shot, but 2.3 damage. 2.1 seconds. Rate of attack continuous. Okay, so 2.1 per second. That's interesting. 0.6 per second, but continuous. It's really not clear what's better. I wish it would just explain it to me. Just be like, this is the most powerful gun, have this. It doesn't really tell me. It's kind of lame. Alright, let's just have a, let's have a diff whole bunch of different things here. I think that's the best way to go. Let's just go this gun. Haven't had one of those yet. Oh, there you go! Victory, guys! Congratulations, Captain. You survived enough waves to claim this territory. You may continue playing to extract as much energy as possible. Energy is needed for researching upgrades and unlocking various items. Let's go continue playing. We'll put this on ultra-fast mode. So, I'm not exactly sure. Unless that's my energy there. And I'm supposed to just be saving that? Is that how this works? Seems kind of weird. So basically I'm stealing energy from these guys. Is that what's happening here? Wave 20. The trouble is I can't upgrade anything. If I could upgrade stuff, I'd be so much better. Health, 28 out of 100. I think I'm pretty much screwed here as it stands. Like, how am I supposed to defend that? Energy surplus, 69. Mission success. Okay, there you go. Well, we won that, guys. That was our very first mission there. So time survived 12 minutes, 49 seconds, wave survived 20, total energy generated, 6920, multiplied by extractor capacity, energy extracted 69, minus blueprint deploy cost. Alright, main menu. So, if we jump into research, so it basically means you can go ahead and start upgrading stuff here. So if we go cannon tower, how does this work? Why upgrade? Research upgrade. Sure, okay, well there you go, I got the first upgrade for that. So I suppose that means I can upgrade my cannon tower now. So that goes to 3.5 seconds per shot, 50 meter range, damage. What? 7.7 .7 to 26.5? Is that serious? Wait, these are the maximum stats you could get by upgrading this type of tower in a mission with the current unlock skills. Are you kidding me? 7, 14, 21, 28. That's like 4x. That's ridiculous, just from one little level up. Whoa. Okay. 
Anyway, guys, that is our quick look at Defense Task Force. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more of this game, make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.